Hello and welcome to Cooper Stadium. We are here for an elimination final pitting Adelaide against their original rivals, Melbourne Victory. Let's head to kick off. I have to say, uh, the first elimination final has taken place. Brisbane Raw uh, overcame uh, Melbourne City. So Brisbane Raw were in fifth place on the ladder. Melbourne City in fourth. It was a 1-0 scoreline uh, at Amy Park with Josh Brindle South scoring the decisive goal. Uh, I have to say as well, Brisbane's defence were excellent in that game. And as it stands, we will play uh, Brisbane next Wednesday in the A-League Championship semi-final. Uh, in this game here today, Brisbane, uh, sorry, Melbourne victory finished sixth with Adelaide in third on the ladder, but only four points between them. So uh, plenty of opportunity for the Big V uh, to pick up uh, the win here as we see Ben Halloran on the ball goes forward, but it is cut out and you don't want to see Callum McManaman playing that far deep. Uh, Tommy Mercer assigning this season for Adelaide all the way back to another player brought in uh, by Carl Vert, goalkeeper Ulsen. Tommy Zurich involved in the play, Javi Lopez cuts inside and it's Connor Metcalf on loan from Melbourne City uh, with the effort there. In terms of the two formations, we'll just have a quick look. 4-3-3 for Adelaide, quite familiar. Uh, in uh, certainly in real life but of course they have brought in plenty of players mostly at the back it has to be said uh, as it looks like they've tried to recreate the old Perth glory defence with Mercela and uh, Matt Spiranovic uh, as Javi Lopez goes close they've got Metcalf in the middle there Haller on one side Vidasic on the other uh, no Craig Goodwin uh, in this uh, in the Mariners massive not here in this universe, uh, but Tommy Juric obviously there uh, as the spearhead. In terms of Melbourne victory, bit of a different formation, a 4-2-3-1, playing quite high with McManaman on one side, Laurie Latanzio on the left and Birkin Kadar in the uh, attacking midfield central role. Butterfield alongside Brimmer in defensive midfield and then you've got Adama Traore, Ansel. Ryan Shotton, Lee Broxham. So plenty of experience there in the Melbourne victory defence. Head of goalkeeper, Bulic. And there you have it. Those are the two teams uh, hoping uh, to make it through. As it stands, they will play against uh, Wellington Phoenix. Uh, but whether that actually happens uh, is another question. Uh, I'm not quite sure, depending on the teams that are left and the position that they're in. Um, we have got the news item that says we're playing Brisbane though. So that tells me that there is uh, some certainty around our future fixture. It will give you a bit of news on Central Coast Mariners as well. Marco Urena uh, currently away with the Costa Rican national side. Uh, he's on international duty, played in a 4-0 win. Uh, it's World Cup qualifying uh, there in the CONCACAF section. And we've also brought back Adam LaFondra on trial. Um, talks with him kind of uh, fell apart uh, before the uh, end of the season there. So we're going to have another look at him. We've got Matt Simon, obviously, up front. Uh, done really well this season with 25 goals to his name. But I just think that if we're going to push on next year, or certainly would do uh, if I was to stick around, then somebody like Adam LaFondra would be uh, the perfect foil to just take over that striker role. Still got a couple of good years left in him. Uh, certainly uh, in the A-League, uh, considering his goal record, uh, and including, uh, obviously, in real life since re-signing for Sydney FC. Uh, but the ball goes here downfield here from Adelaide. It's going to come right back. Thanks to Callum McManaman, no challenge on him, and Laurie Latanzio just sends the ball ever so slightly wide. Just one booking in the first half, that for Jake Brimmer. Uh, and you always get a bit nervous when central midfielders, uh, in fact including central defenders as well, pick up a booking uh, that early in the game. Uh, Vidasic through to Ben Halloran, 
and it's cleared by McManaman doing a good job in his own uh, initial third which is not something that you really associate uh, with uh, the former Wigan Athletic winger uh, former FA Cup winner of course here uh, as Wigan got the job done uh, that unlikely victory over Manchester City well there's nothing unlikely about the 17th goal of the season from Tommy Zurich uh, it was crossed from Dario Vidisic getting forward on the right here uh, very much in the style of Craig Goodwin Birkin Kerdar closes him down but it is Zurich with a good header over the goalkeeper top of the uh, the goal there just underneath the crossbar and Adelaide United are one goal to the good uh, here at Cooper Stadium in the Hindmarsh has been an interesting one this season for both these clubs uh, they managed to finish themselves above the likes of Sydney FC uh, in the regular season uh, so costing the Sky Blues uh, a place in the final series uh, so that Adelaide and indeed Melbourne victory could have a tilt at the championship I have to say Adelaide are probably the team that I'd like to avoid uh, most I'm not too worried about Wellington Phoenix I think we've got enough in the tank to uh, overcome them uh, Brisbane it's going to be a tight one you know they're really good in defense uh, we're really good in attack so uh, it does make for uh, perhaps a quite attacking game on our behalf but then it'll be Adelaide probably against uh, sorry Wellington against probably Adelaide as it stands uh, but that is a good header and close to uh, a Melbourne victory goal victory of course uh, in real life uh, can test the wooden spoon uh, really they are uh, up against Newcastle Jets for that uh, dubious honour Newcastle Jets playing on Friday in the rearranged fixture against Melbourne City and I don't know if I would uh, suggest that Patrick Kisnorbo might just send out a very youthful Melbourne City uh, see that uh, the Jets pick up the win and then that would deny uh, well that would ensure that Melbourne victory uh, are the wooden spooners this season they would uh, take the loss there uh, and really they sort of deserve it if I'm if I'm honest I think they have obviously picked up the points to at the moment just be above Newcastle Jets but the Jets have, have given it a go you know I'm whereas victory often this season have just waved the white flag uh, certainly in games against their uh, rivals Melbourne City um, but that is the real life world and here in uh, in the Mariners Massive victory have made the top six and they take on they're here in the elimination final but uh, it looks like it's going to need a Butterfield special doesn't quite manage to do it in order for them to progress to the semi-final uh, another corner by the same player but Tommy Mercela there to uh, head the ball clear well played by him uh, as we cross over into uh, 90 minutes on the clock three minutes have added time to be played uh, now they bring on Rudy Justed which just seems strange for me if he's not injured why would he not be around uh, the squad has laid themselves slowing things down by making a change uh, as uh, Mercer pumps the ball upfield but it is all over Melbourne victory out of the final series at the very first hurdle that is game over uh, best player goes to Dario Vidisic uh, man of the match there for his uh, in contribution his cross for the Jurich goal and again good performances in defence uh, especially Seo Young Woo, uh, who is the left back. So it's obvious that Carl Ver identified the defence as uh, an area for improvement. If you look at all those players, only Timoteu um, is actually uh, at the club at the moment, uh, not uh, not uh, transferred in during the Mariners massive. Whereas Melbourne Victory, they've gone for players up the top, uh, new lads in there. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this has been a bit of a whistle-stop tour of the elimination finals. So Brisbane made it through, as did Melbourne victory. The game as it stands next week uh, will be Central Coast Mariners playing Brisbane. 
uh, and Wellington Phoenix will host Adelaide United. So a really good game, two good footballing sides there. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next Thursday as the Mariners enter the A-League Championship semi-final.